What is going on, everybody? Welcome on into today's video. We are doing a quick update here on Amazon now post the 24 1 stock split, currently trading at $121.18 in a very interesting spot. Okay, so Amazon stock split went live this week, but right now we're actually sitting on a nice little volume shelf. So take a look at this. This is a little higher volume node right here on the right hand side of our screen, which happens to be right around this, you know, 120 to 124 area that Amazon is sitting at right now. So we are setting up because we actually have a very big catalyst coming up uh, in the coming sessions. Uh, and that is going to be the CPI data that comes out on the 10th of June. Okay, now why that's so important is that when we get this data, the market is setting up and the market has been consolidating for quite some time. So if we zoom ourselves in here, what we're noticing is that this red line is essentially our volume point of control. The price point where we've seen the most volume exchanged, which is actually right around 122, 123 per share, which is about a few dollars off where Amazon's at, about a dollar or so off where Amazon is at right now. We're holding up very, very nicely on this 120 support right here. As we notice a bunch of these wicks, if I zoom ourselves in uh, to say the one month chart, what you're going to notice here as I adjust this, what are we seeing guys? Right down towards that 120, Amazon is holding up the past couple of sessions. And that's just really showing us what we've been seeing on the overall market, just in a range really since the 27th, 28th of May, we are in this range and we have not been able to break out to the upside or down to the downside. However, one thing to note here is that Amazon is now holding this support and it's sitting right on it. So the longer that we sit here, the more pressure points we put on this 120 support. Okay. So would not be surprising if we do break to the downside here over the past couple of sessions, there really hasn't been a ton of volume traded in this range. If we zoom ourselves out a little bit more as you get down here towards that 112 down towards 105 or so on Amazon, but there could be a nice move to the downside towards this small volume node right here down towards about 118 towards 116 for a quick breakdown move. So if you're looking at a short idea, that might not be a terrible idea if and only if Amazon does break down that 120. Now, if we hold the support, let's say CPI comes out on Friday morning and we go higher. Well, where would we end up? That is the ultimate question that we're looking at on Amazon. So if we zoom ourselves out a little bit further here and we start to look back through the past couple of months, what do we got guys? We have a very, very nice gap in volume right in here. Look at this volume gap. There is not much traded here. And also on the chart, we got a gap to fill. So we'll cover that in just one second, but just based on this, which is not looking at the daily, this is a 30 minute chart. Each of these candlesticks is 30 minutes. So it's going back now, left-hand side is, is September of 2021. But what do we see guys? This is our zone right in here is our support zone, which we would expect support to become resistance as we're now below that and pushing back up. So what is that area? Well, let's draw in a nice horizontal line to show us that area. And then we'll zoom out and actually see where that area lines up to be. So 135, 136, let me go to the one day chart and zoom ourselves out, make it a little bit cleaner. Let's clean this guy up so we can kind of see this a little bit better, get rid of some of the drawings. And now what do we got? So we have our support area around this 120 area right here to the downside. We have a resistance line, which is going to be up here towards 135, 136. We have the 50 period simple moving average right here at around 133 as of right now on Amazon. And it is coming down day by day and a gap to fill right here, which the trading view will do a good job to show us in blue from about 130 up towards that 135, 136 area. So targets to the upside would be 50 SMA first, okay, 132, then up towards 135, 136, fill the gap, which would line up with a very nice area of prior support, which would be resistance going forward. And if we do break to the downside and then we do break below this 120, first quick target to the downside down towards that 118, then this prior high right here around 116. So we're looking at 118, 116, take it to $2 at a time if we do break down below that 120. Now, again, further beyond that, if we zoom ourselves out, we do have even a nicer support down here towards about a hundred bucks per share on Amazon. Now post split adjusted price and further to the upside, you're going to run into some substantial, substantial volume nodes up here, up around the 165. So over 150, things get really interesting, but we'd first have to clear over the highs that we saw back at the end of April. 
And then after that, we can start talking about the highs that we put in at the end of March up towards 170. So those levels are 158 and then 170 as follows. So a lot to kind of unpack here, but take it step by step. Okay, first step is if we do break below 120, 118, 116. Break below those levels, and it's very possible we could end up coming down and testing towards the lows that we saw just a few weeks back here on Amazon. Okay, now if we keep bringing the upside, CPI comes out good, 50 SMA, 132, gap fill, 135, 136, and then got some room potentially for some more upside if the market wants to help and we start seeing some more positive momentum. That's our update for you here on Amazon. We'll leave links and resources down below. There'll be a link to this platform, which is TradingView. There'll be a link to get free stocks with Webull and also a link to a webinar covering three trading signals to add to your arsenal. That'll be in the pinned comment and video description box down below. Check it out. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.